Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel because I'm having a little problem with some uh, high elevated nitrate level in my tank I have decided that I'm going to buy some uh, CGM matrix in bulk uh, one liter of it I have it right here over here and I'm going to do an unbo unboxing uh, and I'm going to place this matrix into my sun, right into my refugium area where the water flow is not that strong and I'm hoping that this matrix will, uh, in a couple of weeks, will eliminate any phosphates or uh, nitrates that are in my tank. So let's go ahead guys and do that. Let's go ahead and open up the package. So I, I don't know how it's, this is going to be in the package because it doesn't have a box because like I said it's in bulk so let's see here okay we can see it here it is in a box, it says to, I don't know, it just, just has, has some images. Okay, no, I don't think so. This is a bag from uh, maybe to put fish in. So, you can see that the matrix looks like tiny pebbles, white ones. It has some dust on the pebbles, so... I'm going to raise them in water just to let the water clean up the, the fine dust and after that I'm just going to put them into my refugium and hoping that in a couple of weeks they will start eliminating the high level of nitrates and phosphates that are in my tank. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. Okay, I have put only half of the bag here. You can see that it has a lot of sand. So let's go ahead and turn on the water. Okay, so I'm going to do that until the water is clear and no dust will remain on the, the matrix. And after that I'm going to put them into my sump. So let's Let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. Um, the matrix looks like uh, ordinary pebbles that you find on a driveway. So, I don't know what the hell is this. It's supposed to look like that. Just relax. They're not cheap. Hmm? What do you think? Anyway, uh, I'm going to put them into this area between this wall and the other one over there I'm just going to put them uh, laying down on the glass because you can see that there is a really low flow in here and that is what I want water is going to sit here and uh, the matrix will absorb the nitrates it, it will create aerobic bacteria that will eat up the nitrate so I'm going to test again for, for nitrates in a couple of weeks to see if this matrix is working. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just lay the matrix down on the floor with no filter bag, no nothing. I just want it to stay there and I will remove it if it doesn't work, but I'm not going to know if it works or not. Maybe in uh, four or six, eight weeks. Yeah, so I'm going to put the matrix into my refugium and show you guys how that is going. Well, some of them uh, float, but uh, this is normal. I have seen that on YouTube also, so I'm not uh, worried about this. I'm just going to wait uh, a day or two to see if they will sunk down 
to the bottom and eliminate the ones that are still floating. So this is how my refugium area looks now. Let me just put the ketomorpha back. Back in here and this other piece also. No, no, stay together. Okay, and this holds. Okay. It's looking great. It's going to be a problem when I'm going to clean my uh, my uh, skimmer pump because when I'm going to put it that down it's going to be covered by rocks but I'm just going to move them around anyway I don't clean that there so that after the often so I don't really care now yeah this is how the matrix looks like in my refugium zone you can see that the rocks are moving slightly so now it's a waiting game, I'm just going to wait until the beneficial bacteria will develop deep inside the matrix and start it and will start to eliminate the nitrate. So until then, then guys, have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new to this video and see you guys later. Bye.